Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back and it is time for another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 replay cast. We have got ourselves a Terran versus Protoss today. In the bottom left hand side of the map, it's none other than Clem. And the second part to this equation, uh, basically these guys played before and so I thought, alright, I'll, I'll cast him again. It was a really enjoyable match. In the top right, it's Skillis playing for Team Cascade. So Liquid Clem and Cascade Skill is gonna be gonna be playing each other again. Uh, once again, I still think that Clem's the favorite, but Skillis showed us a really, really good game the last time I watched them play, and definitely can't hurt to watch Clem and Skillis play again, as it'll be a beautiful TVP, I'm sure. And Skillis is just a Protoss player, who's got all just the perfect amount of that wild card factor, I feel. So uh, yeah, we'll check him out, see what he's going to do against Clem. Of course, uh, playing Clem in a straight up TVP does seem kind of scary, but then TVP can get all sorts of wacky, like base trades, DTs, things like that, that can even throw off a solid Terran, as uh, it can all just come down to like that minute or that second decision making to decide your entire game plan so yeah i mean uh, ladies and gentlemen if you're excited for clem and skillis make sure to hit that like button let's try and hit a hundred likes on this video if we can do that that would be absolutely amazing uh it would show that you guys want me to cast clem and skillis whenever it comes up uh really i've been casting a lot of clem on the channel because clem is uh is on the up and up and one of the top terrans at the minute but for now We'll just uh, keep an eye on what these two players are doing regarding their bases. Looks like normal openings on both sides, no surprise. Uh, I mean, 9 out of 10 StarCraft games do look pretty similar at the start, before they really start to uh, start to diverge a little bit. Now, let's take a look here. There is indeed a Cybernetics core on the way for Skillis. Then Clem, just gonna be going for a factory. So, getting up a second gas, starting up a factory, all seems to be well in the world. Stargate's on the way for Skillis, all the while Clem has got a Reaper that actually just killed off a probe, so not bad. Being able to grab a probe, nice and cheeky, then just dancing around the Nexus being a pain. Protoss Adepts can't actually shoot as far as the Nexus is wide, so you gotta do this odd dance. And oh, Clem actually microing his Reaper against the Adept of Skellis, dealing so much damage to it. Uh, he won't kill it, unlike Maru has done in the past. Probably one of the things Maru was... I mean, he's famous for a lot of things in StarCraft, but that's like one of his most sick individual plays. Uh, the Reaper of Clem could be in a fair bit of trouble, though, as the Adept is shading after the grenade gets tossed down to try and save it, but just a little bit mistimed. You have to be down to the fraction of a second if you're going to be able to pull that play off. Clem, however, he did get into the main base. He saw the Stargate, so the Reaper effectively did its job. It killed a probe. It got the scout. There's really not much more you can ask from a Reaper. Now, let's take a look for Clem. He's got a few Marines and Hellions, looks like gonna wait at the top of the ramp in case the Adept was coming up. However, Skillis decided to go the long way around, a very wise decision. We see the mind games already kicking off as Skillis is like, oh yeah, I'm totally just, uh, just, yeah, Skillis was basically like, oh yeah, um, I'll just run my Adept around the long way. Clem's probably waiting at the top of this ramp. The Adept is now going to start skirmishing with this Hellion, potentially come back in, but gotta be careful as those Marines could easily gun down the Adept. At the same time, though, the Oracle flies into the main base of Clem, and there's not really an answer to this. Clem, I mean, he saw the Stargate, but he does still end up losing three SCVs to it. So that's a little bit painful. He won't get the Oracle with the Viking. All in all, not a bad opening for Skillis, as the Adept also stayed alive. Uh, Skillis is going to be throwing up his third base now, which is good to see. Uh, two bases in TVP isn't too common these days, I'd say. Not not very common at all. Interestingly enough, the Oracle activates his Pulsar Beam, trying to catch that Hellion, but the Hellion just a little bit too speedy. Potentially going to get away, the Oracle having to burn a lot of energy chasing it. The Oracle's almost out of energy, but it gets it with the last three energy. It is able to pick off that Hellion. Uh, Protoss players, they want to make sure they get the job done before the Oracle's out of energy, as it takes so long for them to rebuild it back up. 
We take a look. Phoenix are now on the way for Skillis, so he's going to be playing that defensive Protoss style, utilizing the Phoenix as opposed to the more traditional Blink Stalkers for defense. I do like to see Phoenix, though, as they're very good at shutting down specific harassment. It will be a bit tough, though, for Skillis potentially in the future, as Clem is powering up on two, two bases, going up to three barracks, so it's going to be a very very aggressive play from the Terran player. The three racks just naturally leads into aggression, naturally leads into a potential push, which usually isn't too much of a threat against, say, Blink Stalkers. But if you've just got Phoenix for the most part, it can be a little bit risky. This is why we're seeing Skillis head into charge next, get him the Zealots out, which will give him a lot of muscle, all the while the Phoenix can punish Clem if he does overcommit. And by the way, we see the Oracle and the Phoenix actually getting a lot of damage done into Clem's main base right now. Clem was so focused on his push across the map that he's just taking the harassment back at home. Skillis kills eight SCVs. Really, really good damage. The question is, can he hold on back at home against this? Uh, we see Skillis, he's gonna recall his Phoenix to help out. Now has the Phoenix, they have a bit of energy for lifts. But uh, he will really need to wait till charge to defend this third base. And if he does lose this, thir this third, he'll be in a lot of trouble. We see Skillis moving forward, but his Zealots are slow. Clem can kite against them. Uh, Skillis pulls back to his shield batteries, which are going to be healing up his units, buy him a lot of time. The Stalkers with shield battery support can do okay versus lower numbers of bio. And so far it does look like Skillis is going to be holding on against this counter push. So not a bad spot for Skillis. Going to be lifting up Widowmine's, going to be killing off the Medivacs with his Phoenix. Although it hasn't actually killed off a Medivac just yet. So Skillis maybe got a little bit overzealous there before he got out his Zealots as, uh, you want to have charge before the zealots are uh, the zealots are pretty much useless without charge wood of mines get their shots off the phoenix are pretty pretty thinned out in numbers as half of them are dead now or over half of them skillis is going to move out though with his zealots he really really wants to push Clem away i mean he might be over committing in individual skirmishes here though as i mean he keeps losing a few units clem for the most part has taken pretty good trades and oh clem just got a beautiful widowmine drop in skillis's main base killing seven probes really really bringing the economy back for him he's got his own third on the way he's now got his extra racks on the way i wouldn't say skillis is in a bad spot at all however clem getting that drop off keeping the little trades going on at skillis's third is really really good for him the Widow Mines of Clem also unloaded. I'm gonna try and bait Skillis into those Widow Mines. The Medivac will potentially get killed off. Skillis wants that. He wants that Medivac bad. Looks like he will end up getting it. The Phoenix does eat the Widow Mine, but really it was worth it as killing the Medivac prevents the Mines from getting into his main base. Behind this, Skillis is going to be getting up plus one attack. He's getting up a Robo, getting up Templar Archives. Now, we'll see. Clem's going to start rallying units across the map. I mean, there's a decent Zealot count for Skillis. However, he is down on the army supply quite a bit now. 60 army supply for Clem to the 40 of Skillis. He's going to need to get some more Warpins going. Looks like his tech of choice is to warp in some High Templar. He's going to be getting out a lot more Zealots, starting up an Immortal... Getting up Blink, and then a Robo Bay, potentially for Colossus or Disruptors. We shall see. For now, though, he's got to hold on against Clem's push towards his third. Clem has now got his plus one bio. A good number of Medivacs to heal it up. Widow Mines to recover. And the problem with this composition for the Protoss is that when you commit to a fight, you're pretty much guaranteed to be losing something. Whether it's a few Zealots or uh, something maybe more expensive, you really need the Blink Stalkers to ensure you're getting equal trades, which Skillis is heading towards, or you need Colossus to help zone. Something. Otherwise, when a Terran is and has their jaw locked on your third base, you're in a lot of trouble. We see Skillis there. I mean, he trades out a few Zealots just to detonate a few Widow Mines to even lose his gas. The Disruptor is going to be on the way now to help out. But I am a little bit concerned for Skillis right now. We see he's just losing more and more units. If we take a look at the units lost, Clem has got quite a nice lead. The bio is going to start stepping back against the Zealots once again. There we go. Two dead Zealots. Skillis. He's warping in more and more units. 
However, he's losing more and more units, and now with the Liberators getting set up, this is just going to be amplified. Skillis has got to step forward. He's going to take out the Liberators. However, most of his buffer is now gone. He's got to retreat to his shield batteries. The Disruptor does come forward towards the third. That will help Zone Clem back. Going to use it to pick off the Widow Mine, which is nice, but I am still a little bit concerned here for Skillis. He uses the Phoenix to lift up a few key Marauders out of the fight. The Immortal is doing what it can. A few more Zealots warping in. It's a very close battle. The Immortal does end up falling, though. Nice pickoff for Clem. However, it looks like he will end up getting pushed back by Skillis. The Widow Mines will all be cleaned up as well, which is really, really nice for the Protoss player, as uh, that removes the Terran's foothold at your base. Skillis behind this has got a fourth base on the way, which is very important for him. If you're just surviving and you're not building to anything, you may as well just GG out, as uh, you can't just sit back on three bases as a Protoss against someone like Clem. you got to be expanding, taking more bases, all that good stuff. you got to be building with something, potentially getting counter damage done. If you are just defending, though, like Skillis is, you really do need to get up this fourth base, and that's why this push from Clem towards Skillis' fourth is making me really concerned. It's already cancelled, and this is going to put Skillis in a very, very compromised position. I mean, he do doesn't have a fourth base on the way, whereas Clem's got a fourth done, and the army of Clem is just going to keep building up, and Clem's just going to keep getting good trades. Disruptor is almost saved by Skillis, but not quite. Clem even picking off such a key unit is really, really painful for Skillis, we see the Protoss economy is just sort of petering along, whereas Clem, I mean, he's on 70 SCVs to the 60 probes of Skillis. His fourth is about to be done. Uh, Skillis does have an upgrade lead for now, and will have a window which will have 2-2 versus Clem's lower upgrades. I'm still just really darn concerned, though, for Skillis. Clem's going to be getting up a fourth. He's making Vikings behind this. The TVP of Clem is just so darn good. Skillis has just been pressured so long this game that uh, he's 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 at a deficit. There's no mistake about it. Stalkers and Colossus are really the army for Skillis. However, that will be enough to push Clem back away from his, well, would have been fourth location. We see Zealots are skirmishing against this bio, really delaying that drop due to their high armor hanging on. But, I mean, uh, Skillis is in a bit of an odd spot. He's got to be very careful to hold on now. He's going to need to take a good fight, potentially. Him having 2-2, maybe it's time to push out against Clem. Because if we take a look at the army supply, it is currently 60 to 90. Uh, Skillis is going to bait out his two Widow Mines with Zealots, but that's, that's an alright trade for Clem. Uh, yeah, we see Skillis, he is getting that fourth base on the way now, but Clem, he's got Liberators to the north harassing. We see the comical Phoenix versus Liberator fight taking years and years to kill each other. For now, though, uh, Clem is in a wonderful, wonderful spot this game. Once he gets up a decent Viking count, which he's already at five, all he'll need is like nine or so, then he'll be able to completely destroy Skillis' army. I think we'll have to see Skillis go back into Disruptors at this point, because there's Ghosts to counter High Templar, there are Vikings to counter the Colossus. And so yeah, very, very rough position for Skillis. He's going to have the Prism, but Clem's going to target that down right away. Really good targeting down from Clem. Clem does lose all of his Vikings, though, so the Colossus really are going unchecked. This is going to force the Terran to pull SCVs in. However, he's pulling SCVs into Archons, and the Colossus are putting out a lot of damage. So a wonderful fight for Skillis. Behind this, though, looks like there was Liberator Harassment. Uh, both players taking big economic hits, though, Skillis. He's just got two Colossus left out on the map. The Viking and Marauders are chasing them down. Can Skillis keep those alive? Looks like the answer is yes, barely. He did good damage to Clem's economy, but his own has really, really been hurt. He's down to 50 workers. His fourth base is up, which is very important for Skillis, but the armies were mostly reset, and I think Clem will recover from that sooner. Uh... One thing that I do want to point out, though, that is considered quite good for Clem, or for Skillis, pardon me, is the fact that he kept a couple Colossus alive, as Clem doesn't seem to be bothering to make Vikings at the minute. And uh, as I say that, though, Clem does decide to fire up a few more Vikings, saying, okay, there's a few Colossus left. I'll have to deal with those. So that's really nice to see from Skillis or from Clem. Clem also just got a few Marines harassing, kills a four SCV or four probes, not bad at all. We see the Colossus and Archon's moving in once again for Skellis. Looks like he's gonna try and take another good fight. However, this is where things could potentially start going wrong for the Protoss player. It seems like there's just a little bit too much bio for 
Skellis to deal with. I mean, he's microing back with his one Colossus. He's just got one Archon, one Colossus, a couple Stalkers. He's going to try and push into Clem. The Terran production should be enough, though, to keep this train rolling. And in order to stay alive, the Stalkers trading out as well as they can. The Archons and Zealots moving forward. It's a very, very close fight with these small armies. Skellis is going to warp in more and more Zealots, actually, to help out. So potentially going to keep the push going, but I feel like Clem will eventually just keep rallying back, keep reinforcing, and uh, then Skillis will kind of just peter off. I mean, the Zealots and Stalkers getting whatever pickoffs they can, but if we take a look, it's 14 army supply to 55. Clem has lost a few SCVs, but he's got a fifth face up, whereas Skillis is on four. He doesn't have any backbone to his army. Uh, he's transferring probes. I guess just away from his main base to try and mine as optimally as possible. But we do see Clem has held on. He's able to start rebuilding his army. This is looking very, very good for the Terran player. I mean, I guess Clem just got too far ahead in the mid game that Skillis hasn't been able to crawl his way back out of this hole. He maybe thought that that push would have been it. But now he's just back at home making just a Colossus, making an immortal. Uh, Clem doesn't have any Vikings to counter the one Colossus, but... His ghosts will make his ghosts and 3-3 bio will make very quick work of the immortals. So we are seeing Skellis try and buy time with a prism, try and maybe build up to a good composition. And once again, we do see Skellis actually starting to get a good Colossus count as he's queuing up two more. If he can say get out three Colossus, there's a chance that Clem will take another poor fight against him. Uh, the Liberator, though, harassing the fourth base really does hurt the economy of Skillis. Uh, any disruption at his main mining base is a problem, and oh, mis misclicks his probes a little bit there. Can't lose any second of mining right now. Skillis, though, once again, he's been down 30-40, consistent supply. Clems on a fifth base planetary fortress. The Protoss player is building up a high Colossus count. I'll say this is very, very significant. I mean, there's no real Vikings, and th I mean, the Colossus for Skillis... Uh, they'll put out a lot of damage if he can take a good fight, if he can have enough of a buffer for it. Uh, we see more Stalkers warping in for Skillis. There's always a chance for him at this point in the game. His Archons are his main tanking right now. I guess it will depend on the EMPs that Clem gets. Skillis uh, does have to be careful, but there's two, three really good EMPs on the Protoss army. All of a sudden, the Archons are just going to pop like balloons. The Colossus kite back, but one gets targeted down very quickly. The second one falls. That looks like it was the fight that Clem needed. He's just going to stim forward. Uh, yeah, Skillis is done. Very good fight from Skillis. But in the end, it was just too much for the Terran player. Able to take the game. GG gets called. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this match, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Join my Discord. It is linked in the description below. This has been Laughing Games. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.